Pennsylvania Republicans have decided against expanding Medicaid, of course, right? Try to help your own people? No, not going to do it, <laughs> obviously. Um, like I said, they're trying to, or they're going against Medicaid expansion under the Affordable Care Act because it's, they say, of course, it'll cost too much money. Tom Corbett told a local news station, WTAE, on Saturday, he says, quote, what I hear all the time coming out of the administration in Washington is that it's the working poor who will benefit from Medicaid, which is true. Um, yes, it's working, but you should be investing five, ten dollars in copay to understand that you go to the hospital or the doctors, you just can't keep going and going and think everything is going to be covered. Very God nice. forbid we cover people on. Yeah, we healthcare. can't. We, mm -mm, no way. Can't do it. <laughs> no way. What are you talking about? Exactly. Socialist. Uh, <laughs> you have to know what. Yeah, you have to know that you have some interest in what's going on. Um, so he's basically saying that uh, yeah, we we want everybody to pay into the healthcare system if we're going to do the Medicaid. All right. Uh, according to the Pennsylvania Department of Public Welfare. Co-payment information for medical assistance recipients, only children, pregnant women, and breast cancer patients, among a few others, don't pay the fees. However, many other beneficiaries do. So Tom Corbett pretty much wants to make uh, children, women, people who have breast cancer, they want to make them pay more. Oh, oh. all right. Exempt well, that, that's rules, fantastic. Right? What's that? Exempt, exempt from the rules. I, I, I believe me, I have a great solution to this. Uh, it's called uh, Medicare for All, where everybody pays a very small amount. Not, it, it wouldn't be that much more than what your taxes are now, 60, 70, 80 bucks. Let, let's, just, let's just say 100. Everybody across the board pays that, and guess what happens with that? Everybody's covered. Everybody's every covered. Single la you're right. I mean, every single last uh, industrialized nation in the world does it, except for America. Because yeah, that that would be fantastic, but obviously that's well, that's communism, man. That's okay. communism, right? And that's can't have that. No, except it works, and except it's very, very smart. To it is that. very smart. It, it, and, and and from a pure numbers game, if they want to just look at numbers, they're so worried about money, right? That's the only thing we hear about money is money, 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 money. Well, if you run the numbers, that's what's going to give you a return on investment. That's going to make the more the most money sense. Here's what they really don't care about. No, they actually they don't, care. don't give a shit about the money. No. At least no. money that doesn't enter their own pockets or the pockets of their friends. That's exactly correct. So and they're not out to fix any kind of problems. They're not out to help anybody. In fact, they're scared of women, right? You said yourself about how uh, was it, the, the Medicare uh, babies, breast cancer. Like they're really scared of women. Now, how are you going to be scared of women? Like, Why would you want to be scared of women? Really stop and think about that. These guys are scared of women. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, some interesting, uh, some interesting points actually. Um, <laughs> to show why he, you I'm know, full of them. these people do not care about, you know, anybody but themselves, and they obviously don't care about the deficit. The tax rate in Pennsylvania right now for corporations is about nine point nine nine percent. Now that would be a good tax rate for everybody to have. Hey, you know, like for me, that would be a great tax rate. I think my tax rate is 20, 30 percent, something like that. Is you that, pay more. Congratulations, you pay more than a corporation. A high, all. You know what? Since corporations are people, and since I'm a person, I should just start a cool my politics LLC. Then become get the a, 10 percent. You should Does become a like corporation. That? Does it work like that? Should. It should. <laughs> it should. Uh, John Roberts, are you listening now? That's a really <laughs> good idea. I gotta tell you. Oh yeah. So Corbett, uh, John Corbett, thinks that uh, the ten percent, roughly ten percent tax rate or tax rate for corporations, it's too high. He says it's too high. He wants to lower it to about seven percent. Now I, I want to tell you a little bit more about Pennsylvania. They have a flat tax of three percent across all boards of income. Mm -hmm. So already the rich and corporations are massively benefiting from tax laws written in Pennsylvania. Absolutely. Now, who's getting shafted? Oh, it's a little guy. Uh, they have a high sales tax of 6%. Now, they're tied with 16 other states on that percentage. One of the highest um, sales taxes 
in America. And of course, the tax is paid by residents as percent of income. That's about 10%. So what has all this uh, done for Pennsylvania? You know, they the, the common thing that you hear from Republicans is I'm that I'm sure the jobs are just raining down from the skies, right? They I'm should sure be, right? I'm sure the middle class is doing great, and I'm sure the education system is doing fantastic, and I'm sure the medical industry and everything is going fine, and the infrastructure is great. Is that right, Jeff? Wrong again, Bob. Oh, I thought I was so close. Pennsylvania has fallen from 7th in job creation in 2011 to 49th. 49th? Fail. <laughs> Absolute fail. But that's okay. Corbett has an explanation for this one. He says he blames people on drugs. That's right. It's those lazy pot smokers Absolutely. that have ruined the Pennsylvania economy. Yeah, because they don't stimulate the economy at all. Every time they get high and they need to go to Taco Bell and they need to go to you know, the store to get Mountain Dews and stuff, they're not spending any money. Those lazy bums. What a bunch of jokers, dude. And he says, quote, there are many employers that say we're looking for people, but we can't find anybody that has passed a drug test. Uh, I call bullshit. Oh, that's a bunch of BS. A lot of them. And that's a concern for me because we're having a serious problem for that. Oh, okay, yeah. We're having a serious problem with these uh, these drugged out people on smoking pot sitting in their living room that don't want to work. Right. Yeah. I mean, they, they don't. Even if you even if you smoke pot, you'll still need to work to you know pay the rent or eat or provide for your family or whatever else. I mean, just because you smoke pot doesn't necessarily mean that you're an automatic scumbag hippie that never fucking does anything. You know. <laughs> Forever, I mean. Apparently, apparently, that's exactly what Corbett thinks that you, that, that people who smoke pot are, and that's why because of, because there must be plenty of jobs in Pennsylvania. It's not as if there right? have been a studies that have been recently released that show that oh, for every open job, there are three applicants going for it. Well, let me see if I can I clear it up for Governor Corbett. It might be, and this is and this is just fantasy, you know, coming off the top of my head. But it may be the fact that um, if you, if if if, corp if corporations get all the tax breaks and none of that money seems to ever trickle down, like they apparently claim it would to the middle class, then they're not going to have the indispensable income to turn around and buy the crappy products and services that they in turn are selling. So you think that that maybe could be the problem? You think that maybe if we, uh, you know, if, if we want to do tax incentives to boost the economy like we claim we want to do, shouldn't we shift the tax burden to maybe the richest among us and leave the door open for middle class families? Not only that, but we could actually, you know, do investment in Jobs training Edu program, new Edu investments in education, programs, education infrastructure. Um, do you know that um, Tom Corbett? Do you know that uh, Corbett in Pennsylvania has actually spearheaded drastic education cuts that have laid off over twenty thousand teachers. The, the, All those was, people are now the on the unemployment on the unemployment line. <laughs> joke. Like you, the uh, the pot smokers were the problem earlier, right? Is that is that what it was? Yeah, he's and, he's blaming the people on drugs. The second problem, I'm sure, is the teachers. Those lazy of course, it's those teachers. <laughs> they don't do nothing. They sit in their class, in their little air conditioner classroom, and pretend, you know, have their little apple on their desk and never lift a finger. Right? Is that what's going on? Apparently, according to uh, Corbett, that's exactly where we're at. Look, this is Man, this is I, crazy. I'm, I'm nailing this. This is easy. I'm oh yeah, absolutely. Republican politics. This is what happens when you when you go on uh, right wing radio or right wing TV, is you can go on there and pull out pretty much any kind of argument out of your ass to go and blame somebody else for your failed policies. It's amazing, and and how long has it been? It, it's not like this this has just been going on for a year. This has been going on for decades. Is is that right? Like uh, all starting from Reagan. Starting from Reagan, right? Starting where, from where, Reagan, and you got that whole. Uh, then George W. Bush, what an amazing president. He was an amazing president, wasn't he? Obviously. Of course, of course. Um, so just kind of top it off here. Sure. Yeah. Obviously, uh, Tom Corbett blames women, uh, children. He's scared of women. And breast cancer. Let, let, let's, let's clear that up once in a while. And once in a while. If, if you're blaming women 
for the current economic state. I mean, that just really means that you're scared of women. And, you know, that's okay. You know, that if you're scared of women, then you're going to work on it. You try to, you know, not be scared of women, right? That you know, you would hope, but instead, maybe, you maybe we can work on that. Maybe, maybe this is a new epiphany for us all. Maybe, maybe Republicans are really scared of women, and they don't really know how to process the fact that you know they could be sitting next to them in in the governorship or or uh, in board meetings and stuff like that. That these they have a lot to contribute to the table. So if you're going to shut all those all those voices out, that just means you're scared of women. Is that? Is that accurate? No, I'm pretty sure that's accurate. That sounds like a pretty good, uh, pl pretty plausible explanation for that. And here's one more fact that I want to throw in there: is that um, it doesn't even make any sort of fiscal sense to not accept the Medicaid expansion as is. Uh, Medicare for all would be fucking fantastic, and I can't. I I really hope that someday we're going to get there. But right yeah, now because, we because have. It, because to me, it's just time to turn the page. It's like how long we've been struggling with this, and it's like we can't figure it out. Nobody, you know, whatever. Oh, oh, we, we've got it figured out. But there are people that will lose money, and but so they really obviously, don't lose want that much money in the long run because you're gonna have a you're gonna have a more healthy, more robust uh, population that is gonna be motivated to work that doesn't that has one less thing to worry about. I tell you, I tell you, Jeff, like uh, you know, I have a family. One of our biggest expenses, and we, we have, I work for a large corporation, so we have decent insurance, right? It, that's not the way it is for everybody. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Obamacare is a step in the right direction in that regard. But our biggest expense, I'm looking at my bills right here. Our, one of our biggest expenses that comes out of our monthly budget is for medical bills. And mm -hmm. I have good insurance. So imagine, like, if, even if you don't have good insurance, you need to go to the medical room, like Mitt Romney said. Oh, well, just go to the just go to the emergency room if you're sick. I don't see what the big deal is. Okay, so if you go if you go do that, then you come back with a ten thousand, twenty thousand dollar bill. Well, and if you can't pay that, surgery, huh? if you can't pay that too, that gets you shifted on to everybody who else who has insurance. Well, that's exactly right. So then it gets shifted on to the the people that have higher premiums. People like people like me who work, and and I'm not saying like oh blah blah blah, but. But that's exactly what happens. So if I was a conservative, I would be like pulling my hair out. I'd be like, no, you you have you have to uh, do a single payer system. You have to do this because we can't we can't live in an environment where if if you don't have insurance or if you're not if you don't work for a corporation, you get sick, which you will because you're a human being and everybody's built the same. So if you need to go to the hospital, then then who's going to pay for that? Then I'm going to pay for that. As a conservative, you would want a single payer health care system. But no, Absolutely. Mm -mm. socialist Fox News says fantasy land, rainbow shooting out of unicorns' asses. That's what it is. So hey, and so here we are in this in this huge in this huge mess, and we can't figure out how to pull ourselves out of it. Well, I have the solution. Cool Mike Politics has a solution. You guys don't want to hear about it, but. It's a single payer system where everybody pays a small amount on their on their income tax or whatever. Everybody has access, open doors to the hospitals, publicly funded, and then we move on. We move on to one of our other problems. Let's go. Let's like let's progress. We, and we have we have society. so many problems here in America too that that need attention. And the and like you, I absolutely agree. The solution is obvious, but of course. You have these people that are ideologically opposed. They don't. They don't respond to logic. They don't respond to reason. They don't even respond to math. But what's, they what's just the ignore right. it. Yeah, you're right. You're they right. just ignore it. And and here's that one last fact is that the Affordable Care Act would actually pay for 100 percent of that Medicaid expansion up until 2020. And they don't and want. It. And does Corbett not state, want it? Corbett doesn't want it, right? Yeah, he doesn't want it. He, he doesn't he's want already it. Well, denied it. Just like Nikki Haley uh, denied it, just like yeah. Bobby Jindal. Bobby Jindal, thank you very much. And look, I had to go through that kind of stuff too, and I write Bobby Jindal letters all the time, and I send them all my old bills and stuff like this because there was a time where I I was in college, I, I was off of my health, my parents' health care plan, broke my leg, had to go to the hospital, wouldn't get treated at the regular hospital, I had to go to the charity hospital, make too much money because I worked overtime because I was trying to provide for my family, so I get screwed on that. So here I am paying the bill, and I'll send him copies of the bill all the time. The dude doesn't want to talk to me. Why don't you want, want to talk, talk to, to me? He call doesn't want to talk to anybody Google without Hangout. a check. You don't have <laughs> a check in your hand. You are not important to Bobby Jindal. He's scared of women. He's scared of women.
He's scared of he's scared of regular people. Why why are you so scared, dude? Why like if if you're scared of people and you're scared of women, why are you in the position that you are in? Why are you there? You're not you're not doing anything. What are you doing? You just are you a corporate whore? You see me on Twitter all the time to calling out Congress people and they're like if you want to be a corporate whore, just go work for your local corporation and be a corporate whore.